And we can bring in military analyst and former military officer Frank Ledwidge, who's joining us now from Oxford in the UK. Good to see you, Frank. Uh, let's start with what these F-16s are capable of. What can they do that um, air defence and long-range weapons can't? Good afternoon. Well, they offer an extra capability in the air defence domain in that, unlike missiles, of course, they are dynamic, they're manned, and they can react very quickly, provided, of course, they're in the air. Much depends, of course, on what, uh, on what missiles they'll be armed with. I think the intention now is to give them fairly high-end missiles. Uh, but, of course, in the strike domain, that is to say the bombing function, I think it's very unlikely they'll be using these F-16s at all, or if so, very rarely. It takes a long time to integrate the systems necessary and particularly to penetrate the extremely strong Russian air defence system. So they'll add another arrow to the quiver, as it were, but they're in no way decisive or, or for that matter, a game changer. And what about the pilots flying these jets? I mean, have Ukrainian pilots uh, had enough training to use them immediately and effectively? Compared with NATO pilots, the answer is absolutely not. So uh, probably the best trained pilots will have had roughly 15 months. They'll be able to carry out basic air defence functions, use the aircraft, begin to gain experience in integrating the various systems. But you have to remember that, uh, that any any uh, military aircraft is, a, is part of a system of systems, and it takes a very great many uh, years fully to be able to exploit the potential of aircraft like the F-16 and the avionics, the weapon systems and so on within that system, and indeed to operate in more than in, in groups of more than two or four, which tend to be the, the the numbers used in NATO air forces. So no, they're they're not going to be operating at that level, but they'll operate and they'll only and they'll be permitted to operate, of course, within the bracket of what they can do. Uh, but by Western standards, they're they're not well trained enough really to exploit the potential of this system. Fully. OK, okay. And, and what about this issue of vulnerability? I mean, how vulnerable will they be, these jets, to Russian attacks? Great question. And you saw there on the, on the, on the report some guys with machine guns uh, speaking about that. But, of course, the fact is the machine guns are a last and desperate line of defence, and the primary defences are Patriots, NASAMs, and all the kind of missiles that the Western are giving them. And that's the problem here. When you concentrate these aircraft in a very, which are considered both politically and operationally valuable, you've got to defend them. And how do you defend them?